What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And as always, I'm your host, Matt. Today, I want to make a quick video covering probably the most asked question, the most frequently asked question that I get here on the channel. And that is, where the heck are my Ninja Forms emails, right? When somebody goes to my website, uh, I have Ninja Forms as a contact form, and folks can't seem to find where their contact forms go when somebody fills out the form and hits submit. I'm going to identify some of those most important places to look uh, before you even go live with your contact form. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into a website that's using Ninja Forms. I already have it installed. I already have a bunch of other videos on my channel here teaching you how to use Ninja Forms. So go ahead and check those out uh, if this is your first time looking at Ninja Forms. So it's Quite simply, the first thing you want to check is go into one of your contact forms. So go to forms, all forms, and then either one, uh, or excuse me, any form that you have listed here, click on edit. It's important to know that uh, you could change an email address for multiple forms. So if you have, you know, uh, let's say you're a sales organization and you have different sort of lead landing pages and those contact forms are supposed to go to different maybe sales managers, different departments, that kind of thing. Um, you can change that contact email uh, for each, for many. You can also add multiple emails to a contact form. So first thing you want to check, let's say this is our basic uh, contact form right here. We want to click on emails and actions. Um, the name is pr pretty much self-explanatory. This is where all the sort of the email stuff will happen and where all of the sort of actions will happen when you submit a contact form. Um, and, you know, by default, you can see right here, save to database. Uh, this is the email confirmation, which is what an, and the email confirmation that the user gets. And then here's what you really want to pay attention to. It's the email notification message. So if I go ahead and hover over this little gear icon, I can choose to uh, copy it. I can choose to trash it or I can edit it. Let's go ahead and hit edit. You can see right here that by default, the email is set to go to the system admin email. And what that is, is the email that you probably originally used to install WordPress when you set up your site for the very first time. Uh, I'll show you where to get to that in a second. Uh, but you can also override that, right? So you can also, you know, put in, um, whoops, hello world at gmail.com. Um, you could comma uh, separate it as well. You could pull in field labels, or excuse me, field um, or fields data from those fields that the user is posting when they actually submit this. If you want it to go to somebody else in a spe uh, specific um, you know, field from within your contact form uh, or another piece of sort of maybe metadata if you're doing something a lot more custom. And then the same thing, you can see that that same example in action right here where it says field email. This is the reply to uh, when you, as the admin, once you actually view this email in your inbox, when you hit reply, it's going to go ahead and reply to the email that, who, uh, that they filled out in the contact form, okay? So this is the first place you want to check. You want to check this uh, email to section, which is under the email notification in your specific ninja form. Now, let's say you don't want to override it and you're saying, well, maybe maybe my email is, uh, is supposed to be going to the sysadmin. How do I get there? Um, first thing you want to check is under general settings, you'll see the email address is labeled, or excuse me, is input right here under the email address field. This is where uh, Ninja Forms will look to by default, right? They'll say whatever email is in the admin section, that's who we're going to email when somebody su submits a contact form. Makes most sense. A lot of people are running their own site. They're not in an organization. It's, you know, they're going to be the ones getting that email, right? To, to lack of a better term. But what happens when you do have everything all set up, right? You have the email uh, punched in correctly in Ninja Forms, or you have the email correct here, but you're still not getting the emails that people submit. Number one, you want to check your spam folders in your from your particular email service provider. If you are like most of us, you're running your WordPress site on a shared web hosting setup. And I've talked about web hosting in, um, I believe, the video that I showed you how to sell an ebook. Um, where I recommended SiteGround. I believe that's the video. I'll try to link it up in this description here. And the trouble with, uh, well, the benefit for running a shared hosting environment, it's super affordable, you know, for SiteGround, which I recommend for shared hosting, maybe five bucks a month or something like that, comes with a bunch of WordPress tools. They do a great job. 
But the issue is, is you're sharing those resources with a whole bunch of other people on a web server, which means that if the other person next to you is maybe spamming through their website or uh, they get hacked and some spam goes out, the IP address, the server uh, that your website is hosted on is going to get blacklisted and eventually maybe listed in spam filters. So your contact forms will never re reach you, especially if you're on like Gmail or something like that or Outlook.com. That's the issue. Uh, because when the email sends, it's sending through WordPress, right? So maybe even your own shared host potentially could stop that email from going out. Maybe they've identified you're sending too many contact forms, or maybe somebody else on that server is sending too many emails. There might be some kind of rate limit thing. These are all sort of what ifs, but certainly plausible um, as to why you might not be receiving your email. So I'll show you how to fix that. You want to take a look at a service like Mailgun. I'm not affiliated with this. Um, I just use it and love it. There's a whole host of services like this. MailChimp, who I recommend a lot for sort of newsletters, they have Mandrill, which is paid service now, uh, but very similar to this. Um, this is going to be a little bit more complex to set up. I'm not going to walk you through how to set that up um, because it's just too, too complex, too many steps here uh, for the time that I have to record this video. Uh, but just understand that a service like this will actually use, uh, you'll actually use this service to send email from. So your website will, your WordPress website will connect to a service like Mailgun. Mailgun will then deliver your email for you. And Mailgun's job is to not only deliver those emails, but to make sure that the emails going out of their system are you know, not spam, right? They're not malicious. They don't have viruses, right? Uh, it's a you know, eventually once you get out of 10,000 emails per month, it's a paid service and, you know, big sort of maybe other uh, invoicing companies or e-commerce companies might be using a service like this because they want to make sure that their email gets delivered. Okay. And that's when you want to use this. You could use this for your small business website. It's just going to be a little bit more of a technical challenge, a little bit more to set up. So what we want to do is install the Mailgun uh, plugin. I already downloaded it. So I'm going to hit activate and under settings, you'll find Mailgun. And if you're familiar, I'm not gonna go through all the steps here, I just wanna make you aware of this. If you're familiar with setting up maybe like a MailChimp connector plugin or uh, any other kind of sort of connector plugin to another third-party service through your WordPress website, you're doing the same things here. You're putting in an API key, um, you know, you're saving bits of data like click tracking, tr click tracking, open tracking, that kind of thing. What the from name is, what the from address is. Uh, I will tell you that when you sign up for Mailgun, you will have to have access to your DNS records. Uh, to your domain, and you're going to have to sort of uh, add a text field to that uh, and possibly a C name so that they can authenticate. This stuff is above your head. Um, I do apologize, but this is sort of the technical, the next technical hurdle you need to make uh, in order to ensure that your emails are getting delivered. So number one, you can always check with your web host. If you rewind this video and, and take a look at the areas I told you to take a look at in Ninja Forms, and you've got all that to check, uh, checked out, check with your web host. Say, hey, you know, can you see email logs going out, right? I'm submitting my contact form. It's going to this email address. I'm testing it out right now. Is there any way you can sort of track that in the logs? Or maybe they can give it access to you to do that, um, to, to see why this email is not going out or po potentially why it's being blocked. Second, you can use a service like Mailgun, uh, Mandrill, SendGrid, SparkPost. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of great services that will help you deliver your email. And again, I know a lot of you have been doing some e-commerce stuff, some membership sites. Very important that your customers are getting their sales receipts, their login info. You definitely want to use a, a, a service like this. With 10,000 emails for free, um, you can have a pretty lucrative business running on uh, you know, Mailgun with you know very little sort of emails going out right again if you have 10 people at 100 bucks a month that's a thousand dollars a month in your in your membership site something like this free and even if you have to pay for it for a few bucks a month not a huge deal that's how you can sort of debug and find out where your ninja forms emails are going where any of your contact form uh, emails might be going check those settings check the uh, email address that's already set up in wordpress and when all else fails if Maybe your web host is blocking that or your uh, the person getting your email is getting blocked by spam. Use a service like Mailgun or Mandrill. If you like videos like this, go ahead and thumbs up. If you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.